It took Messenger more than six years to journey close enough to enter orbit around Mercury, almost 58 million kilometers from Earth. The scientists who designed and built it at the Johns Hopkins Advanced Physics Laboratory figured they could send back at most 2,000 images of a planet that's too close to the blinding sun for telescopes to observe. Now, after receiving 10 times that number of pictures, they have a wealth of data about Mercury, where temperatures range from 450 down to minus 150 degrees Celsius. On this globe, they've mapped the topography of the planet with new information sent back by MESSENGER as recently as just a few months ago. MESSENGER has produced conclusive evidence that inside Mercury's North Pole craters lie deposits of water ice, an encouraging finding to those who dream of making human settlement in deep space an eventual reality. This is saying to us that one of the processes that takes place in our solar system can trap water and have it there if we ever get there. The facts learned about the properties on, below, and above Mercury's surface are small pieces of a grand solar system puzzle that the scientists want to solve. And there's a big difference and a progression in how these planets look, what their composition is. And we're trying, we're trying to understand how it all makes one consistent picture of the formation and evolution of the solar system. MESSENGER is projected to lose orbit and finally crash into the planet sometime next April. It will take another year for its data to be analyzed. But in the coming decade, the European Space Agency plans to launch two more orbiters to carry on the mission of uncovering Mercury's mysteries. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Laurel, Maryland.